Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. It's been a very long time. I have been super busy with work. Um, I'm trying to get through all my exams because I've got like 33 exams to be qualified in what I do. So I've been trying to focus on that, but I'm, I've been off this week. So I thought, you know, I've done quite a lot of studying as well as being off. So I thought I'm going to film this little haul because I did go and meet my friend at the traffic centre and it was very nice seeing her like it always is. And so yeah, I got a few bits from Primark and then I also went to B&M with my mum and dad and got some bits from there. So I thought I would do a little haul just to kind of get myself back into this YouTube side of things just because I actually do miss filming videos. I've been trying to, I've got so many vlogs that I need to edit which it, it's so hard to edit because I filmed them all on my phone and my Apple Mac is just being annoying trying to transfer the videos over so it's taking me longer than I want to like I've got so much stuff that needs editing it's actually unreal so that also isn't helping with the fact that I've got work to do and try and edit all these vlogs that I've got that I need to upload I have uploaded a few but yeah, so also if you haven't followed my vlog channel, it's called i Vlogs, so please check it out and see. And yeah, so I thought I would do a little haul of what I got in Primark and B&M. Um, to kind of get me back into this YouTube <laughs> videoing kind of thing. And I'm going to try and stick at it. I'm going to film a few videos this week whilst I'm off. And yeah, basically try and get back into it and try and if i film ahead of time if i need to miss a week i i don't i won't miss a week of uploading because i've got the backlog of them so that's what the plan is for me to do so hopefully that can work um if i sound really weird i am full of a cold as well which doesn't help this weather just doesn't want to make its mind up so it's not helping the facts my sinuses are a mess anyway so it's not helping my sinuses at all which is quite annoying but yeah so that is why i sound a bit well, it sounds weird. I sound weird to me. Whether I sound weird to you guys is another thing. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm full of a cold. <laughs> but yeah, so let's get into this video and I will show you my Primark I've been in shopping haul. So let's get into it. So I'm scared to pick up the bag because it's full of everything and I'm scared it's going to rip. I also got scared of it's a Primark bag. I've got everything in my Primark bag because, yeah, um, I didn't get a bag from B&M. So yeah so basically when i went to the primark till she was struggling to open it and i could hear it ripping and then she still put the stuff in the primark bag and i was like yeah this is gonna rip so me and my friend took them straight to the car because we were nervous but i've got all my b and stuff in there as well so i'll probably start being and first because that's not as big as the primark haul primark haul i've got no clothes i've just got all like accessories and stuff like that but yeah so i'll start with b and m so these are really random you can tell i'm an adult by the way with these so basically i've been in really really into yogurts and granola at the moment but i like to make my own so i like to get a big pack of granola and a big pot of yogurt and obviously my hair's really annoying me um so yeah so i like to get my own like big pot of yogurt and my own big bag of granola because yeah i just do and i basically i want to start taking it to work so I've got it there to eat rather than trying to like, I don't know. I just, basically I wanted it so that the yogurt was in one section and the granola was in another so they didn't go all like soggy and I could just pour it and mix it together on my break. So I got this, it is a proper, it's a breakfast on the go pot but it's got what I need. And I know the back thing's really massive but I probably won't put that much yogurt in it. But it's basically this, so it's got like this container here that I can put the yogurt in and then it's got this container at the top that I can put the granola in and then it comes with a little spoon which I thought was cute and yeah basically that is just basically something that I wanted I thought it was really really cute so you've got that little container here and it even shows like you can put granola fruit and things like that in it as well and that is basically what I wanted it for so when I found it I was like I need to get this um, do I actually have a receipt in here to tell me how much? Yes, I do. So I got, it was £3, so it's not too bad. A little bit pricier than what it would have been like years ago. But it's not too bad considering the prices have gone up with everything. So I 
picked up this which like i said i thought was really cute and it was just what i needed next thing i got in b&m was this container so basically i got quite a few of these and because i've started eating rice with chicken at the moment rice and chicken is just like my go-to meal at the moment um i've got a big bag of rice and i wanted to put it in an airtight container and i've got like quite a few of these for like pasta um my granola in there things like that so i picked up one of these and that's what my rice is going to come in and it's the price of it is yeah it's got to be the food store thing it was four pounds so again not bad for nowadays prices but yeah it matches the rest of the things that i got so i picked up that next thing i got from b&m was this e45 cream and basically i've read up because i've got strawberry legs i can never pronounce the proper name of it but everybody will know it's strawberry legs and i've also got it on my arms it's kind of like red bumpy stuff and i've heard that e45 cream cream helps it because it's all to do with like ingrown hairs and things like that and i've heard that e45 is good for that so we're gonna try that out so i picked that up and the price of the e45 cream was three pound 79 the next thing i picked up was some moisturizer because purely because i ran out because i was staying at my mum and dad's um and i ran out of moisturizer so i got this hydrating whipped moisture cream it's a sienna rose hydrate and balance so it's just in this box here and then you open it up and i didn't realize it was one of these fancy ones that are like drunk elephant and you just kind of squeeze it so i got this it's quite good what it's got in it it's got quite a lot of oils in it which is good for skin it says high and intoxicants and omegas a rich balance of oils extracts provide skin hydration whilst aiding in the fight against multiple and environmental aggressors perfect for starting the day right and ending it with luxury surge of moisture and hydration so that's why i picked up that well like i said it was purely because i ran out of them at my mum and dad's so this is my new moisturizer whether it's going to be good or not i don't know but so far so good i suppose and then the last thi oh moisturizer was four pound 99 and then the last thing i've got i love mugs and i reuse the same mug over and over again and i feel like it's time for a change and when i saw this i thought this is this is mine this is me and it's this little rainbow mug and it is massive like that my hands are quite small look at it it's massive and i thought this will be perfect to start my day with a brew because i normally get two cups of teas in the morning this is probably going to equal to the two cups of teas of how big it is so yeah and i love how it says a cup of positivity <laughs> on it because it's just like the perfect mug but that is it there and this was priced at £3.50 so I paid £3.50 for that which is not too bad at all but yeah I love it can't wait to use it it's super cute so that is everything I got from B&M's next Primark so Primark like I say I got no clothes which is not like me but I've been good so first of all as you may or may not know I uh, go to the gym and i'm still like because i was kind of new now i'm not i think it's been like it's been a while now since i started now i've just been using my normal everyday trainers which i've decided i don't want to do anymore and i actually want some proper workout shoes and i found these so i couldn't decide which colors i wanted so i got both <laughs> there was more than them but they're super cheap in primark and yeah i'm a four so i got them in a four but i've got like these gray ones and these black ones and the gray's got like a white sole on them and they are memory foam as well so super comfortable and these were 12 pounds each which i thought was not bad at all and i really really needed them and i did have money on the side for them as well so i thought i'll just pick them up and get these and yeah i cannot wait to wear them to the gym so like i say 12 pounds each not bad at all for a pair of trainers because trainers nowadays are like 60 pounds so if you think of that that is not bad and they've got like the meshy stuff on it so they're like super flexible for when you're at the gym 
same with the black ones are exactly the same and they just tie up like normal is it does it is the workout range in primark so it's definitely for workout so that is the first things that i picked up i did try on some gym leggings and a gym top but the sizes in primark are absolutely ridiculous and the small was too small but the medium was too big so i couldn't get them but it's all good <laughs> Now, the next thing that I picked up were these. So I've seen so many good things about these and it's the wrist wash bands. So basically you put them on your wrist when you're washing your face and when the water trickles down your, your arm, normally it goes onto your clothes. Now, that is the most annoying thing that I hate is it trickling down my arm. So I never, ever, ever, ever wash my face in the clothes that I'm wearing for the day because I just can't stand it getting wet so I always do it in my pyjamas but now I don't need to do that. I can get dressed before I wash my face because I've got these to put on your arms as you can see there and these are £1.50 so that's not bad at all and and the bonus about these I thought was really good for £1.50 was that this oh why did I think there was four on there? I thought there was four I thought it was like these were like one but it's not there a full one and it still just says two wash bands what am i thinking i thought there was four in a pack but hey ho i'll have to wash them and wait for them to dry to use them again but it's not bad at all but i still think it's really good price for £1.50 would have been better if there was four but i can't complain at £1.50 and they're pink so they're super cute next so my friend told me i should get these to try because she's tried them and they don't she struggles to figure out how to do in her hair and i thought it's only three pounds and then dearer than it's, it's cheaper than elsewhere the dearer in other places is what i'm trying to say so it's these heatless curls now i love curling my hair and now that it's all one length it's easier to do but when i do it with a straightener because i use my straightener to curl the ends of it get so like dry and horrible so i thought i would try give this a go see what it's like because it's heatless and hopefully that shouldn't happen so i'm gonna try it one day i might do a video on it actually trying it for the first time i need to look it up i have watched so many videos on how to do this but i need to look it up when i actually do it but it comes with like the little scrunchie it's got a thing that you wrap the hair around and it comes with a claw clip as well so that it can hold it on the top of your head when you're wrapping it around which i thought was cute so yeah hopefully that works next now my top water bottle is getting is quite old now and i'm always worried every time i use it in fact it's there <laughs> i'm always worried about every time that i use it that it's gonna explode on me and yeah not nice because i found out like the other year that it actually has a lifeline on it the actual hot water bottles so let's see if it's right actually now i've got a new one this is still got water with it i'm so bad so this has 21 so apparently i don't know if you can see it it's like here i don't know if it's like gonna focus there we go apparently that's the year that you bought it and they've got like a certain year year lifetime on it so let's open this one up and see yeah 24 it literally says 24 can you see so maybe that is right then. Apparently it's got a two year lifeline and that's literally so out of date. So I've been dead paranoid every time I've used it. So now I don't have to be because I picked a new one up and I love it because it's so fluffy. It's like a perfect Sarah hot water bottle. And I'm obsessed with hot water bottles, especially in like winter time when I don't want to use my heat in because you know, cost of living crisis nowadays. And I live by myself. So I have no one to share the bills with why won't it go back straight so yeah so i use these so much and especially when it's the time of month my girlies will know the time of month you need a hot water bottle so i picked this up and this was five pounds and it's like i say it's super soft i love how it's got the little bobblies it's like a little present and it's fluffy dark gray i just love it because it matches like my living room and it's super soft and i absolutely love it so that was five pounds which is not bad but i've gone for expensive taste in hot water bottles right next uh up 
I've got one of these. So, story time. So, I got one anyway. Um, so, I, I basically, I got a duplicate, a dupe Stanley for Christmas, which I asked my mum for. And it didn't fit in my car. So, I was very annoyed about that because apparently they're supposed to fit in all the car hold, cup holders. But my little KA doesn't fit in. So, this is it actually. I've got it here. So, I thought, do you know what? I'm going to pick up one for Primark. Plus, I want to have one for work and one for home. So, I still needed a second anyway. So, I found this. And it's a little cute Hello Kitty mug. And you can put hot and cold in it so it's not too bad. It's got, you can literally change it from having a straw because it's got a little thing to cover up the whole of the straw and then you can actually open it up and make it a hot mug which I thought was quite cool so it's like multi you can use it for multi things which will be good for work actually so I thought this one might be a little bit skinnier and then so when we went to the car after Primark I tried it in my car still doesn't fit so KAs you need to sort yourself out doesn't fit in my car I tried it in my dad's works literally fits perfect the white one and this one so that's annoying um but yeah i picked it up and i thought it was cute i love the color of it love the handle love the fact that it's got the little kittens on because it's hello kitty and i love the fact that it's multi like i say it's got the you can put hot and cold in it and it's got like the little zipper for the hot and then it's got the straw use for the cold which i thought was cute and i can't remember how much this was probably the dearest thing that i've got on here there it is this was 12 pounds just like the shoes but like I say, it's, I'm drinking water a bit more now, so it's going to come in handy. And then in the morning, I can use it for my brew to take to work. And then I can rinse it out and put water in. How amazing. That's actually, that's actually amazing. Next. I am obsessed with bath bombs, guys. I'm obsessed with Lush bath bombs. Any bath bombs, but Lush in particular. Now, my friend who was with me at the time knows that i absolutely love my bath bombs she she found a bath bomb section in primark i didn't know they did bath bombs the bath bomb section is massive guys so i don't know if it's like a new thing or what but they were so reasonable prices as well they were like a pound each like a pound pound 30 each oh my god they're super cute as well so i picked up this one which is a little chick Look how cute it is. A little, little chick. I picked up a little whale. Or dolphin, whatever you want to call it. Oh, they actually say that scent is, scents they are. Oh no, this one doesn't say it, but this one says birthday cake scented. A little cutie. And then I got a little peach. A little... A little like flower which says lemon scented on the back a little love heart I'm also trying to read if it says it in the back what it is but this one doesn't it just says pink and then a little duck little ducky which is cute does the duck say anything on it birthday cake scented again this one i couldn't say no it just happened and yeah but i've not had a shopping chip in a while so i deserve these things that's what my friend was telling me she was like you deserve these things so that is what happened <laughs> but yeah i'm absolutely happy with all my purchases like i say i'm not bragging with this one little bit i just thought you know i've not been shopping for a while i've got some money on the side for it even though my car keeps breaking i deserve this I deserve this so that is what I did and I'm very happy because it's stuff that I needed as well as stuff that I wanted well I didn't need the bath bombs but yeah I wanted the bath bombs <laughs> but yeah so that is everything that I bought and yeah let me know if you you knew that there was a bath bomb section in Primark because oh my god I have been living under a rock if that's been there for ages because I've never noticed it but the price of the bath bombs together came to one and a bit of lush one one bath bomb and a bit of lush that is crazy i actually can't believe it but yeah so that is my little shopping haul and i'm very happy with my purchases and yeah so thank you so much for watching hopefully 
you'll have more videos like weekly now because I'm gonna be on it guys I'm gonna be on it I can't just like work take over my life but yeah super happy with my purchases and I had the best time with my friend and yeah thank you guys so so much for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know in the comments below and yeah if you're new to this video hit my subscribe button because why not it's free <laughs> and go on ahead and follow my vlogging channel because I've got more v vlogs to go up including my Taylor Swift vlog which is going to be a pain transferring videos but I am going to do it regardless how long it takes I will upload that vlog but yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time with another video bye